a really good game, and I hear this is a very story-rich game. Of course, we're just going to be doing the original Talos Principle. Behold, child, you are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. Okay, Elohim. I'm right off the bat, you can already tell this environment is something. Across this land, I have created trials for you to overcome, and within each I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. Wow, this is going back to the ancient. If I do this, this, and this, I guess from what I understand, it's supposed to make you think about life and existence, but let's see if that theory remains true as I progress. Switch out of reach with the Z Tetrad. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. Hmm. Outnumbered. Not the best. 
that there is a jammer somewhere, but there's more devices than there are jammers. I guess. Guardians of this land may harm you, but do not resent them, for they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. Sure do, but I think that's a little bit of an understatement. I have to get the general out. <laughs> Smart. Okay. There we go. Whew. Well done, child. Only one more sigil is needed. Charting the meat path. Yeah, this one's gonna be tricky. Yeah, is that, as far as I know, I got two forks to deal with, and I only have one jammer.
help, but it doesn't do me any good that, uh... Doing it right here is kind of useless. Like I said, there's a very short pathway. Well, as long as I don't get within that red zone right there, I'll be safe. That I do know. You are trapped, my friend. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. If you're getting that, whether you like it or not, you orb. Alright. Making good progress. Hello. Hmm. What? Before I go into the temple, let me see if I can get the other tetrads first. Deephole. My child, you do not need to collect all sigils at once. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. Hmm. That's the people, all right. Really nice music, I like it. Okay. Now it looks like Jammer can only go a certain space. Well, Elohim, I just barely know. I think GLaDOS the bigger GLaDOS in my opinion is the bigger headache of the uh, backseat gamers. <laughs> But that's just my opinion. And I think another nuisance is, uh, I don't know if you play this, but Shodan from uh, System Shock. It really does. You know, I'll be honest about something here. It seems like atmosphere is missing from a lot of games nowadays. And unfortunately, it seems like most consumers value am I thinking of? Uh, popularity over heart. But that's my take. Easier said than done. Oh, easy. Alright. That jam is there. Well, at this point, uh, I'll agree, this is actually a a really well done puzzle game. Let's see here, I know there's a couple of other games that are puzzle games that are really good. I just can't think of them off the top of my tongue. The top of my head, excuse me. Not the top of my tongue. Let's try this peephole once more. If not, I'm going to move on. I'll come back later.
right now. Uh, where did he say this temple was? is I need a horizontal bar and a yellow L. Hmm. Shoot, I did not stop to think of that. the temple already. Alright. Alright, I found it. I think I got it now. Or, sigils, excuse me. This is getting used to. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Wait, what? Oh, right. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, let's keep going. What does this have to say? Loving library session. Your senses are true. The world doesn't come with Randall, you gotta figure it out for yourself. That's true. saying goes, the truth can hurt, so you gotta be a little careful about where you're stepping in life. Yeah, the lore is actually very well done, and I know reading is not exactly everybody's cup of tea, but sometimes if you don't read a certain book or you speak to a certain character, you might be missing out on something here that could help you out. Anyway. Mm-hmm. 
Yep, that's very true. That is so very true. But, looks like time is up. Pretty much it. Minus six. Hesperides. Hesperides. Interesting uh, name. Publishing dates range from the 1st of July of 1995 to the 27th of June 2003 BF. What that means? Current status. Hmm. space. Hmm. What caused this corruption? Forget the library. Let's find out who this Elohim is. Texts are going to come into play at some point in the near future. But for right now, let's just move on. Smart idea, and two, there's always gonna be more than one. Okay, let's see. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Alright. Oh, I think I see it a little bit more clearly now.
Easy. Right. Boom. Step into the light, child, and my temple will be revealed to you. I'll step in a little bit later. I want to get more of these sigils. Girl, got fast kiss. So there's gonna be three of them. Yeah, this is gonna be very <laughs> interesting. As long as I stay outside of this blast range, I'll be alright. God, this is gonna be fun. Tetrad one more time. Let's see if I can get a clearer understanding now that I know where everything is. That's interesting that the water uh, doesn't give you a reflection. This trait will serve you well in times to come. Sigils. Let's move on. This binary teleporter. 
You walk now upon the stones of my temple, whence many gates lead. And know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds I made for you. our covenant. These worlds are yours and you are free to walk amongst them and subdue them. But the great tower, there you may not go. For in the day that you do, you shall surely die. Hmm. Based on that sentence alone, it makes me wonder if this is a reference to the Garden of Eden from the Bible, where Adam and Eve can walk the garden, but cannot eat the forbidden fruit. Hmm. Oh, hello there, dog dude. Welcome to my stream. Uh, how's it going? This is probably the most appropriate, uh, appropriately titled area of them all. Okay, so I was correct on one thing. I do not want to turn that gun on. Okay, so. gotten distracted by the scenery and not bother complete the game. 
Well, I'll come back later. Because, I mean, as long as I have the basic idea down, I'll try to re-strategize... The... What in the... What? Hey, come back here. Hold it. Wait. Wait. Where are you going, dude? Wait. Come back here. Dude, come back. Oh, well, you don't have much to say anyway, so... Anyways, let's head this way. That is true, actually. I might agree with that statement. Thank you for being from you when you are not there. Yeah, that is... that's very true. The guards must be crazy. Understatement? Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Orbs. Don't worry about me here. You just uh, keep uh, worrying about yourself. As long as I don't. Got it. It's a little bit of stealth, if I'm not mistaken. You know? At least at this point. I gotta be very finicky with the jammer. I'm going this way. Got it. Okay. Takes care of one problem. Awesome. This will save me that. Oh boy. Oh no 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 I see it now. Here's one of those uh get out of my way uh situations. Because I have to Oh no wait a minute. I was partially right. Okay. Now I can use this jammer. Better. There we go. All the way over here. Run like crazy. Running, 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 running. Piece of cake. Alright. Good. You are learning, as is your purpose. But your choices must be your own. Therefore, I will not guide you. Unless it is necessary. Oh, you mean like you weren't there to help me with the uh, suicide mission puzzle? Yeah, that's really helpful there, guy. Hall of Windows. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> I think it's. I think that's done on purpose to say, you know what? You get the idea. Let's see if we can decide on your own. You know, it's just like life, you know. It's like. You have the basic idea of life and existence, but now you have to walk your own path. I mean, people cannot be making decisions for you your whole life. Because you don't grow, you don't learn, you don't mature. That might be just what life is. Oh, great, I turned this stream from a game into a course of philosophy. Huh. But you know, it's like I've stated, Games like this do not come around very often, and when they do, they're either overlooked or they're not talked about enough. I mean, nowadays people just want massively multiplayer games with hyper-realistic graphics and pretty much non-existent story, but that's just my take on it. And that to me is just sad. It's an interesting way to put it. I, I'll agree to that statement. Aha! Now I, now I think I see it now. I, I have to hit. 
<laughs> Teaching career. <laughs> well, I already have a uh, college degree. And I don't know if I would, uh... I don't know if I would want to become a teacher. I mean, if I become a teacher for, uh... For filmmaking... That's a possibility. Creative uh, problem solving. Okay, fine. Like I said, a little creative problem solving. Nothing's unsolvable. A indeed. What's interesting is that if you were to take this question and ask two different people, I'm willing to bet nine times out of ten you're going to get two separate answers. Let's, let's just do this one. Into the desert, come across a thirsty traveler. His eyes bulge from slow dehydration. You have water for you. are not sure how hard it is the next way. So what do you do? Well, this proves generosity. This would prove sacrifice, which means you are sacrificing your your resources so that he can live longer, but you'll die sooner. Well, ignore him, just playing ignorance. Kill him, collect his blood in a flask for later. That is... That's a prime example of a bad characteristic. And that's what you're doing in the desert. Let's ask. 
Okay. What's interesting is you is observing you can see the same. Yeah. I'll, I'll agree to that same and let's see here. Let's run the error log. Of a hexa, a bunch of hexadecimal numbers. One day I often remember when from sleep I first awake to found myself reposed. More hexadecimal numbers. Under a shade on flowers, much wondering where and what I was, once tither brought and how. Error unknown. Look at the arg solutions. Grog. <laughs> nice subject. From Bob. Rakovsky to 108 recipients. Please call me. I'll agree to that statement right there. Curry is best is what we do best on this planet. Yeah, and also this uh, sense right here. If we all put our heads together, we can figure something out. Yeah, that is such a true uh, statement. I mean, teamwork is just key to getting through a lot of projects, whether it's a school project or a project you have to do at your job. Although, you also have to make sure that whenever you do teamwork, you have to keep an open mind. Because if you are so set in your own ways, you're not gonna accomplish much. And you're gonna have a lot more unhappy co-workers, and this also will look bad when the final product is done. First uh, paragraph right there. I've seen videos of uh, scientists creating life like AI for promotional purposes or for scientific research. Hmm. But I'm willing to bet something like this is going to take hundreds, maybe thousands of years to perfect because even right now, these AI programs sure look and act lifelike, but they're far from perfect. Because the thing of it is, you can't mimic actual human emotion, you can't hum mimic human behavior, because as human beings, it's what you are. Whereas AI, you're, they're pre-programmed to do this. Whereas the human being, they have to do it on their own. Right. Anyways. Concept of myself change, give or take, from from one point to another. Are you the same person you thought you were? Hmm. Wow. It's, it's quite a question. Does your understanding of the world itself change? Absolutely. But it also depends on. Depends on the day itself and how things and how a person was brought up. I mean, if they're brought up in a good environment, they're gonna look at the world and be like, everything's all peachy keen and hunky dory. Whereas if someone was brought up in a not so good environment, they're gonna take a look at the world and like, oh, everybody's selfish, everybody's out for themselves, and have a negative impact later on in life. <coughs> Anyways, do you reveal the information to others or do you keep it to yourself? Hmm. C is a very interesting question. It depends who I reveal the information to because if you reveal the information to the wrong person, that could be 
problematic. But if you reveal it to someone you trust or you love, like a friend or family member, that can, make a, that can be a, just as big of an impact, if not a bigger one. Why? Well, because it's either a simple case of it's convenient, because they're there, or <coughs> I've been with this person for such a long time, I trust them. That is very interesting because what I like to do is take a look at the situation as a whole first and try to plot out what I can and cannot do. I might approach it from one perspective and that's also a problem whereas another person can do the exact same thing but they do things different and they'll get the same result. Clearly not a one-way street or it's clearly a two-way street. I've mentioned this several times in the previous streams of concepts. It can look good on paper all at once, but it all boils down to the execution. And if it and if the execution doesn't work, you're not going to win. <clears throat> Get it off camera. Let's just try it. Swing. Oh, wait a minute. Get you back in there, dude. Okay. There's one other thing I can think of. Cam this. Open that. I, did, I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. Uh, <laughs> All right. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. Oh well. You know what? It's sometimes better to self think, get things later, rather than never. All right. Woo wee! Good nannies. Okay, looks like I got all three pieces of the sigils. this. I can't believe I ignored this, but, uh, wow, this is so reminiscent of the, uh, oh, oh the theater in Rome. I'm trying to think of it. Yeah. You know what? This is so far the only game that's actually making me learn. And I thought Portal was a good, uh, well, I'm not gonna bash Portal completely for being a bad puzzle game. What I'm saying is that it just doesn't give me the same Um, sense of accomplishment, as this game does. That's the word. That's what I'm thinking of. 
and I wouldn't call this a tower. This looks like the really, really ancient theater of Rome. Oh, it's the Colosseum. Yeah. Yeah, the Colosseum of Rome. That's right. But there's one other landmark I'm trying to think of that... That was... That has this exact design, and I think it's either in Italy or Greece. And it was a theater. But I can't think of the name. But that's what that reminds me of. I'll come back later. Two of the certifications have been generated. Oh. Okay, that's one thing I don't like already. Right it's a bit you can't use the actual keyboard for this. <laughs> we'll look at it later. The witness. I'll have to look into that. Since I'm going to be a person, since I'm going to be a psychological capacity, some of the animals, some animals are there for persons. Oh boy. <coughs> Now are they talking about, like, old world primates? Because that's the only thing I can think of that is physiologically similar to humans. Considering the whole evolution thing. Over millions of years where we evolved from Neanderthals to highly sophisticated and intelligent human beings. I guess, for this, I'll just say, probably agree. A person is under no authority other than that to which they consent. Hmm. A person is under no authority other than that to which they consent. Hmm. That's a very good question, or statement. Generally, nine times out of ten, I would agree to this statement, unless they're employed. At that point, then they're going to be under the authority of their employer. Or, if you're a young child, then you are under the authority of your parent. Okay. I probably agree to the first statement. You're getting that reset. Ah, too far into this. Well, of course, this is just one person's opinion. Um, hmm. I guess I'll agree to that. The quality of life of persons ought to be maximized. I really like... That's kind of interesting that they put the S instead of a Z in there, because I'm willing to bet that's UK English. Because I know generally with UK English, they do put U under certain... with certain words like armor and color. You. I feel humbled by that. For the second decision here, yeah. Only glad the person ought to be maximized. Maximized. I'm not gonna judge for grammar, but that's how I would say it. Only glad the person ought to be. Yeah. Person ought to be maximized. Sure, because everybody deserves a uh, good, healthy, happy life like anybody else. There is no reason why uh, anybody should. Uh, I don't, there's no reason why should, anybody's life should be less than anybody else's. Well, let me put it this way. It probably drives you crazy because it's something you're not familiar with. I mean, if you've read enough, if you were to go to the United Kingdom right now, go to the library and read one of their books and you see the word like color and armor with the U in it all the time, at first it's going to drive you crazy, but as time goes on, you're going to keep reading more of these books, you're going to be like, oh, okay, so that's how they do it. That's how they write their words. And then at a certain time, you're more than likely going to accept. And I can... It throws you off. Very true. At first glance, yes, because you're looking at the word for the first time, and you're like, oh, this is going to drive me crazy, but... What it's doing is it's just feeding your brain, hey, this word is spelled this way. And when you get a little bit older, you're gonna re-look at that word and you'll be like, oh, I remember this. And this is how it's spelled and this is how it's pronounced. Well, 
bad smelling. Romana the pet? Oh, Ramona, excuse me. Romana. Romana sounds like another name for a lettuce. Anyways, never heard of it. Anyways, let's get back to the game here. Value is discovered. Oh, that is oh, that is a very true statement. Because value is like whether it's high value or low value. Whether you, whether it's good value or bad value, it's always going to be discovered no matter what. Person deserves the talent they were born into. Persons deserve the talent they were born into. <sighs> okay, this one's gonna be a this one's gonna be interesting. Persons deserve the talents they were born into. Hmm. Well, it really depends what that talent is. And how they use it. If they use it for good, then yes, I will agree with that statement. But if they have that talent and they don't put it to good use, then no, they don't deserve it. It's a two-way street, depending on who you ask and how they perceive that answer. Hmm. And plus, although I'm going to be honest and say, nine times out of ten, things are earned. You don't deserve things, like... Like your driver's license, okay? Let's take a look at that, for example. You earned it. It's a privilege, not a right. Like, people deserve the driver's license because they earn it. Not because it's their right. People deserve the talents they were born into. This one I'm actually not going to agree with. It has to be earned, never given. The liberty of persons ought to be maximized. Just like before with number three, the quality of life. Yeah, because everybody deserves to live free. It's, well, it's even though there's a lot of injustice in third world countries, I mean, those people are at least trying to do what they can to enjoy their life, even if the conditions they live in aren't as great as what we have today. Okay, I'm just gonna say, liberty is something that a lot of people take for granted. And, I know in this day and age, a lot of people abuse that liberty. And unfortunately, and unfortunately there's a lot of people out there who abuse that, who abuse it very much. It's, to me, that's just sad. I mean, if you plan on having liberty, use it for good. Don't use it so selfishly. Now, I'm not trying to brainwash anybody. And just hear me out here. I'm not trying to brainwash anybody here into... Bending their will to my philosophy. It's just from my point of view. Alright? You don't necessarily have to agree with what I say, but just like I ne don't necessarily have to agree with what you say, but I but we have to keep an open mind about it. That's what I would agree to. Value is created. Yes, I will agree that it's true, it's my game and my team go for it, but it seems like for some odd reason here, this game is tapped into my inner philosopher, and now for some odd reason, now I'm spewing out my personal perspective, which is really bizarre. This is the first for me, but unfortunately for this one, I'm going to have to say no. Value is not created. It's discovered, just like in the previous question. I will agree with that statement also, but until that day comes, now don't take offense, that's just wishful thinking. Anyways, let's get back to the game here. My first day at the Institute for Applied Nomadics. Okay, this right here, this very first 
paragraph right here, that's a bit of a defeatist attitude. I mean, yes, it's a little nerve-wracking to go into a new job, and it's very easy to judge people, but... We're all geniuses and I'm a complete buffoon. Well, you know what? The way I look at it is this. I look at it as this. Genius isn't something... Let me just put it this way. Your brain is not something... Let me try that again. <laughs> I get tongue-tied up at times. It's not even funny. It's not how big of a brain you have. It's how you use it. Because I will say this, though. I'd rather be honest about being stupid than lie about being smart. I'm just kidding about letting me work here. That's just... That's just a knife to the back right there. I never read it anything into a Dunic Kruger. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. Trembling, I walk in and run at the entrance. There's a life size poster of Jeff Goldblum. What the hell? Hmm. Then I get it. Institute for Applied Nomadics. Ian. Dr. Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park movies. Jeff Goldblum. An excellent movie I haven't seen in a long time. It's kind of interesting that uh, they reference to fictional characters, but that's neither here or there. Sarah Bai shows up smiling. We were Ainan, Ayapen, Anapno. Stupid. That did sound stupid. Bloody geeks. <laughs> That conversation, I wasn't so scared anymore. Well, sometimes you have to break the ice when you're in a new environment, you know? I mean, get out there, introduce yourself to people, learn their likes, dislikes, because only then will the playing field be even. Because if you walk in there intimidated, you're just going to get eaten alive. But you also can't go into assertive either, because then people are going to look at you from another negative perspective. This question to two different people, you're gonna get two different answers. Zombie philosophers or skeleton philosophers? Never heard of those either. Hmm. Hmm. We have to uh, elaborate on that. Anyways, note number one. Your name novels first sent. She woke up in an Hmm. 
Interesting. Anything involving skeletons and bones is a door wide open for puns. Let me tell you this right now. Oh. Anyways, <clears throat> no two. Well, that's a very interesting uh, sense right there. Having no one here knowledge of the nature of the world, forced to rely on what we are told by others and what our own subjective flaws and limited. Ah, the concept of growing up. At least for my, at least that's the way I interpret it. Like as a child, you are told by your parents to do this, this, and this. That's to tell us one. You have the hexadecimal numbers, social reality, belief, objective reality, matter come into conflict. Uh huh. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, that's what I was thinking of. What about the thing about the amphitheater? I'm willing to bet that maybe. You know what? You got me. You got me interpreted. Yes, thank you for that. That's what I was thinking of. Amphitheater. It was on the tip of my tongue, but I just couldn't figure out what it was. But yeah, let's look into this. When I was a little girl, oh. one of our teachers, Mrs. Higgins, told us to make a time capsule. Write letters to the future so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it, which I really regret. So, <laughs> I guess I'm going to make one now. Bury it in the archive instead of under a tree. I don't know if anybody will ever find it, but somehow it seems important to keep talking, to keep thinking, for as long as I can. Hmm, the concept of... Putting your most cherished possession in a time capsule, bury it, and dig it up about 10, 15, 20 years later, reminiscent of the past, of what it was like to be a child, and have fond memories. You know, come to think of it, I don't remember doing that as a kid, in fact. I really don't remember much of my childhood, to be honest with you. Of course, there was an email on from a uh, strong guy where he was talking about time capsules, and uh, it's gotta be like, no, it's gotta be a for real time capsule. And put spit in it too, in case they ever discover how to create people from spit. <laughs> ah, strong bad. And Home Star Runner comes along, he's like, hey, strong bad, can I put this like greasy old wig in your time machine? It's no, it's a time capsule. No, I hate you. Get out. Why would you want to get rid of thing so people in the future can know I have a really gross old wig? It's not a trash capsule. <laughs> oh god. Anyway, that's about A here. Again. 
There we go. So when, of course, I'll be honest with you, I've made castles before in one of my classes. And 9 times out of 10, the vast majority of capsules are actually manufactured off-site. Very seldom do pharmaceutical laboratories create their own capsules. Zero? You know what? Well, I took the time to solve this gate here, so I might as well uh, indulge my curiosity and see what's at zero. You have proven yourself worthy, child, and this gate shall be forever open to you. Seek now the other worlds I have given you, that you may attain even greater mastery and bring glory to your kind. But remember, you must not ascend the Great Tower, for it shall bring death and the end of your generations. Hmm. I wonder if it plays on the old adage, like I was, like I stated previously. I know I was going a little off kilter of the Garden of Eden, you know, where Adam and Eve are free to walk the garden, but they are not to touch the forbidden fruit. Makes me wonder if, well, probably not. It's two different concepts. Let's see here. Let's see Two really good questions. So two really good questions. That must be the tower right there. Oh, Jesus. And I thought the tower in City 17 uh, was huge. Holy Jesus. Oh, dude, what are you doing? That was a oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Although, fun fact, I haven't had Jello in years. But, uh. But I just don't have an interest in Jello anymore. Just like soda. I used to drink soda all the time, but I'm like, you know what? I'm getting sick and tired of drinking soda. It's not good for my health. So I decided to quit. I've been really cutting back. Well, 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 we'll not get into that. Anyways, this must be the tower that uh, Elohim was talking about. Remember, remember to see the Tower of Babel? You know, the story of 
I forget who built it, but the purpose was to get closer and closer to heaven so they can be, be God. That's how I remember it. But we're not going to go to the tower just yet. Wow, looks like, uh, for some odd reason, I must have, uh, started a, uh, philosopher's war. But you know what? You get into such deep topics, it's bound to happen. And we got some more sigils to collect. No. You know what? I'll agree to that, Timmy. Yeah, we'll just say it's no. Oh. Terminal. It's very interesting. Unless there's some underground, uh... Network. Anyways, let's get back to the game here. Very true. This last sentence, I am going to agree with 100%. Because until you know, until you find out, you're never going to know. Or should I say, until you try, you're never going to know.
held. I don't have to rip anybody's uh, stomach open just to get the key out. I'm comfortable with that. Here, those who are worthy may seek the counsel of my blessed messengers. But their wisdom shall not be given easily, for your accomplishments must be your own. 
100% true. jammer around here somewhere. I just don't know where. Yeah, you're not coming out anytime, pal, so don't ask. Well, that team seems too far-fetched if I had to bring him out.
is another set of keys there. That I do know. There's only one jammer. Sigils represent the difficulty, and this one's hard. Well, like I 
I said, I got a pretty good idea of what's the store, but it's just a matter of getting the execution down. And that's what generally 99% of things are. They start off as concepts, and then they go into the execution stage. Possible, but this is going to take a little more creative problem solving. Now I'm 
There is much that you may learn in the halls of my temples, for there is much that you do not know. That is why you are a child. But children are made to learn, and in time they come to have dominion over the lands of their home. So it shall be with you and your generations. That is such a true statement. These worlds, and we within them, are made of words. Hidden words, invisible to you, yet part of all things. We are... a story. Your actions give life to the story, and the story gives meaning to your life. Behold, I am Elohim, and I speak unto the darkness. Be gone. Excess data cleared. Wow. Bit of a surprise. Anywho, let's move on. Try to see the assumptions you're making about the mechanics to reassess them. Good luck. Maybe punching error. <laughs> That's just my guess. Anyways. Okay, so these guys are part of the puzzle. Another star? I still want that star. I'm getting a star with you like it. Where is it? Anybody likes it or not? I want that star. Thank you. 
one.
helpful advice of alt, the alt use. I don't want to say alt fire because I'm so used to playing first person shooters with a, the alt fire function. That is very interesting. And like I said, I'm willing to bet it's all color coordinated. Because that little, because that path right there was red. Star. And the color I'm using is blue. Let's go here now. Don't. Oh, good Ghost Rap Busters reference. Don't cross the streams, otherwise, you'll cause a. Is it a atomic reversal? Where all matter and life cease to exist? Yeah, that's a Ghost Re Buster's reference right there. Alright, so... Nope. Alright. Okay, so... I'm surprised that the beams don't kill ya. would be the only way to uh, not cross the beams. Unfortunately, there's no third connector. An interesting idea on pen and paper, but like I said, it's all about the execution. I 
also do know for a fact that I can't take this because that will drop that. And the only thing I can think of is this. Get as far back as I can. There. Oh! Well. Well, that solved that problem. fine. Like I said, it all just takes a little creative problem solving. Alright, let's go for this last one here. Alright. What's this one called? Above all that. Okie We got more, uh, more of this. But this one shouldn't be that hard after learning my mistake from the first chamber. It should be a piece of cake. Ah, I see. It can be, uh, I don't think the beams can be blocked by anything. Let's try it now. There we go. Perfect. Oh, there's more of these. Cross, do not cross the beams deal. No, 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 wait a minute. Duh. If this will work. Which I'm not only got hopes for. Oh, perfect. Very nice. that came to me again and again was play. Every human society in recorded history has games. We don't just solve problems out of necessity. We do it for fun. Even as adults. Leave a human being alone with a knotted rope and they will unravel it. Leave a human being alone with blocks and they will build something. Games are part of what makes us human. We see the world as a mystery, a puzzle, because we've always been a species of problem solvers. That is so true. That is very true. Alright, well, this has been a very entertaining, uh, stream. Alright, we'll stop it here for now. No! Hang on a second here, I gotta go back to something. Thank you, Doggy, for the uh, follow on Twitch. Warms my heart. <laughs> okay, a second. But yeah, I actually am gonna stop it here because I think there's something I can unlock to change the colors of these lights. But we'll worry about that next time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.